Hey everyone. So I've made this robot head with a pan tilt mechanism, some cameras, and some LEDs. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how I've made it. So I'll see you in the next scene. Hey everyone. So I'm making this robot head and I didn't actually design these. Um, this is part of the Poppy open source robot project. And I'll link to the STLs for this project uh, in the description. So basically the head is held on with these little magnets here, the, the top of the head and the, and the electronics go in here. So it kind of goes on like that. Now the only part I did design uh, was this little mount here and I'll include the, the STL and the free CAD file for this in the description. So this is the mount here that kind of clicks in here and I've screwed in because in the original design, uh, they put in these Dynamixel uh, servos. So these screws are positioned so they can screw into the, into the Dynamixel servo. They have these little tags on them. Um, but the Dynamixel servos are really expensive, so I didn't use those. I just made my own mount. And I'm just using these servos that I had lying around. These are 25 kilogram servos uh, with the same form factor as the M, um, as the as the 996 servos and the 995 servos. So um, they're 25 kilogram servos that I had lying around, and I just got them off AliExpress. And then this um, pan tilt mechanism, I got that off AliExpress as well. And I'll link to the search uh, term for those in the description. I won't, I don't know actually which particular one I bought them from, but you can shop around a bit because they're easily available. So this just goes on here like this, uh, like as a pan tilt. And, um, and then They've designed this little uh, stand here for the Raspberry Pi. So that goes in here. This just kind of fits in here quite nicely. And you can put the Pi in here like this. And the only thing I had to do was because when they do it, they have this TFT uh, in the original project. They have this TFT um, that goes in here where the eyes are. Uh, but because I'm not using that, I have to use this like right angle uh, USB-C adapter to get the power in because I can't actually get the power in through here. So I just put that in there. And then I'm gonna put this, instead of a TFT, I'm gonna put this uh, stereo camera in where the eyes are. So, um, so hopefully I can drive it around and just collect stereo data. And then this is an Ardu cam um, a time of flight camera. So I'm just going to get calibration data, ground truth, disparity images uh, to train my network. So that's just going to go in the front here, like there. And then I'm going to have to kind of somehow secure all that in. And then once I've done that, I'll, I'll write all the code and hopefully get it working, attach it to my robot. So I'll have it all like on this pan tilt thing here on the robot. So hey everyone, so I've attached the robot ahead now to this piece of Astrobotics channeling, which is like the neck. And then it's on top of this uh, pan tilt mechanism with these two 25 kilogram per centimeter servos. And um, I've just mounted it on this with kind of one of these like an extra piece from one of the pan tilt mechanisms. And then I've got the two cameras here. I've got the stereo camera and the time of flight camera. And then I've got LEDs on the cheeks. Um, I wanted to put a OLED there, but it didn't actually fit. And then I'll just show you inside the head to see how I've wired it up. So I'll move that over. All right, so I placed the camera so I can give you a look inside the head and I just have to take this off and this is connected just with magnets so it comes off quite easily. And I'll just show you the wiring. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. So I've got the two LEDs connected through 220 ohm resistors 
and the positives connected to pin 17 and pin 26 on the Pi. And then I've got the two servos connected to pins 18 and 27 on the Pi. And the, uh, the stereo camera is connected to the USB. The time of flight camera is connected here to the Pi camera input. And I've also got this rail here, which is a five volt rail, which I just ripped off a breadboard. And this has its own five volt input, but it has a common ground with the Pi. And this is just to power the servo. So they're running off their own power source um, because I don't want them to draw too much current from the Pi. So that's pretty much it. And I'll give you a demo of this working now. So I'll see you in the next scene. So I've got the demo working now and I'm just gonna show you the code quickly. So the code basically consists of two files. There's a .html file, which is the front end, and this provides a user interface to control the robot head. And there's the robot head.py file, which is the Python code, which sends commands to the Raspberry Pi. And I'll just show you something quickly in this file. I'm gonna leave this all up on GitHub so you can have a look at it. I'm not gonna go through it in too much detail, but just quickly, I'll just show you, I've, I've put all the pin numbers for the Raspberry Pi in this file. Uh, so if you want to know what pins I've used, you can just look at this file. As well, I've made a fritzing, like a circuit diagram, but this is pretty rough. Uh, so I've shown the LEDs, which I've connected through a 220 ohm resistor. And then I've got the servos running off a separate power source to the Raspberry Pi, because I don't want them drawing current from the Pi. And then here's the stereo camera, and here's the type of flight camera. Um, but like I said, I put all this code up on my GitHub, so you can have a look at it. And um, now I'll just show you how to run it. You basically got to run it in the virtual environment. So this is the virtual environment. I'll also put this up on my GitHub, which is the requirements. Um, so as you see, I'm using NumPy 1.26.4. Uh, the standard is NumPy 2.0.0, but that doesn't actually work with the Ardu Cam Depth Camera Library. Um, so that's why I have to run it in a virtual environment. And the other thing is if you're running it in a virtual environment, you've got to use sudo and you've got to, uh, you've got to qualify Python 3 with the full path to your virtual environment. Uh, otherwise, otherwise with sudo Python 3, that'll uh, default to your standard environment and won't automatically go into your virtual environment. So uh, we run the robot head and that'll serve the web page. Now to get to the web page, uh, we can either type ifconfig to find the, the IP, or we can type the name of the Raspberry Pi, which we, which we made at configuration, dot local. And that's easier to do it that way because we don't have to worry about the name keeping on changing. All right, so this is the configuration here. This one here moves, this, moves the head up and down. And this one here moves it side to side. And then this starts the video feed. So, and then this one turns on the LEDs. So we can see the LEDs are coming on there. And then this moves it up and down. So that's basically the demo uh, in a nutshell. So I'll, leave, I'll put, like I said, I'll put everything up on the GitHub. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.